back to Hollywood North Radio with the celebrities come to play. I am your host, Big Sleeps. It is about that time. Yo, we got, what, so hold on, Hugo Raimondo. Ah, uh, there we go, buddy. Hey, you got it, you got it. Hey, hey, Raimondo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. I like it. And we have Alex Duong. Yeah. <laughs> Duong, right? Did I say it right? Yes. yes, yes okay, yes. yeah, because I'm, you know, I had to ask him six oh. times <laughs> how to say it properly. The Duong. <laughs> and we also have Stanton Chung. Yes, sir. In the building. Yes, sir. Yo, man, welcome, welcome back. Well, thanks for having us. You know what I mean, welcome Thank back, you. man. You know, like uh, Stan, you was on the show. Hugo was on the show. But you're getting your cherry pop right now. Oh, yeah. With <laughs> Alex, oh, right? Yes, sir. Can we get some Vaseline up in this motherfucker? No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, man. Welcome, welcome to the show. Um, I don't want to block uh, his face. Uh, Which camera are we supposed to look at? Anyone. Oh, I see. <laughs> there you go, you good. I'll just turn on the lights. Oh, shit. This one has uh, my face blocked. That's all good. We got it, we got it. So it's fine. Kind of, like, scooting here. You can, you can, you can come nah, you can, you can adjust the uh, camera yeah. if you want to. Naomi can adjust it. But welcome to the show, man, because you guys you guys just did a short film. Yay. Yeah. Tell us about the short film. It's a short film. Well, come on, man. <laughs> like, it, man. Give us come the on, name. Man. Give us the, you know, I, I mean, because uh, you, you're, you're, you're actor. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I'm a stunt performer, producer, and I wrote the script. <laughs> oh, so you ain't do shit, but you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> He's like, it's yeah. just short. He's like, it's, it's, it's just a short film, bro. It's called King of Hearts. It's King oh, of Hearts. King of if of you hearts, want to follow yes. it on Instagram, it's K-O-H underscore moving. There you go. All right. We actually have our lead stunt double watching right now, David Van Lee. Hey, 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 what up, David? David? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, are you still here? <laughs> yeah, he's. Is he still there? Oh, dope. Yes. So, what 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 inspired you to write the the actual short itself? So the script is about it was what uh, probably five six years ago that I wrote it. It was uh, three pages. It was called The Protector, and one of my friends uh, told me that like, hey, we can do something better. So we made it like a ten pages short. Wow. Okay, and then so it, so is it all done, edited, got all the foley stuff ready, or do you guys just right now in post? Oh, we're in post right now. Okay, yeah. great. So we're letting. Uh, so we actually in. just finished uh, filming last week, uh, last weekend, uh, during the long weekend. It was a long three day shoot. It was very hectic. Uh, it went all over the place, but it was good. It was good. Everybody was happy. We all had good energy, and we all loved working with each other. Uh, we are actually just finishing editing right now. We're gonna do a reshoot in about two weeks uh, okay. Just to finalize it and make it a little bit nicer and a little bit more crisp Yeah, and then hopefully have it uh, out by in like say two months for you all you guys to watch Wicked. Yeah, and Stan you're the director of this project. Yes, sir. Yes, sir Okay, mm -hmm. so how did you guys meet? Did you guys know each other and you automatically knew that you wanted him to direct it? Or was it just no, kind of things actually, just started falling into place? I actually uh, knew him because of his uh, famous uh, YouTube video called uh, I Call Shotgun. Oh. And I started following him. I saw his style. I was like, wow, I'm impressed. Uh, that's probably what I want to do in my movie. So um, eventually I contacted him. And then for two months we sat down and talked about the project and he was on board. That's great. That's, I didn't know it was that project. <laughs> really? yeah, that's cool. no. I'm, I'm flattered, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how it started. It's... And Hugo, Hugo came. Hugo's one of the producers. He's also a stunt man, actor. Man, let me tell you, man. This is so. This is this is what it is. I'm all about Canadian content, man. You know, since I got in this industry, it's always been the same thing. You know, I came in, a little acting, a little stunting. You know, a lot, a lot of work I've been putting in on. You know, trying to write stuff, trying to produce stuff, and. You know, Stanton's a good friend of mine, so you know we decided to just kind of get working together, and, and it's been uh, it's been popping off, man. It's kind of been a yearly thing now, and it's starting <laughs> to get some traction. That's great, right? So it's uh, it's uh, it's how we're doing it now, man. And um, hopefully next year we're we're gonna surprise you guys again. Is stepping up, you know, what we're what we're putting out in the in in, the, in terms of content and in terms of the people involved, right? So yeah. well, like I always say, if you need a black guy. Man, we always need all types of color people. Man. People Don't of worry, color. Man. We're always, we're always representing here, man. And I'm still looking at here. You know what? Shout out to Quiet Storm. I know yeah, big here, up Quiet Storm. I gotta pick him up all the time, man. Yeah, that's the homie right there. Yep. I gotta love him. I ain't got a choice. 
<laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, he's cool. No, he's cool. Nah, he's good people, man. He's cool, man, yeah. You know, and, and his sister's right there, so I can't hate. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> nay, nay. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he, they, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing right now. I mean, yeah, I was yeah. like, no DJ. But I got yeah. mixes, see? But he's the dude that he goes and does a mix the night before and goes, here. Go. Like, dope. Dang. I need another one. Here. Dope. I got two. So if I'm ever in trouble, I can always throw in a quiet store mix. No, that's, that's true. Okay. That's true. You know. So I want I, I want to hear a little bit more about the, this actual project. Tell us a little bit about the story. Um, what what pe people to expect, like without giving away too much, obviously, um, about the movie. Oh, okay. So basically, it's uh, a guy named Billy who will come and try to save uh, his fiance mm -hmm. um, and from someone. Um, right, tell. bad guy. But yeah, <laughs> not a black guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. Oh. Bad guy. Oh, damn, man. The one thing. The one thing. I Don't worry, I mumbled it. Say, it. I mumbled it. <laughs> you got warned about that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I always warned him. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. go ahead. So Billy. So yeah, so Billy just came back from the military services, and uh, Julie, who is the fiance. Uh, tried to throw out a party and went. she went to a club and in this club some things happened and she mysteriously disappeared. Okay. So he finds clues and goes into the club and finds out that someone did it. And right, so it's a mystery. Yeah. Mystery. Okay. Uh, mystery. Okay, I don't want you to give any more. I don't want to give you any more. All right. But I like it already. We still want you to watch it. So. Yeah, I like it already. I don't want to give you, I don't want to give you any more. But I mean, that's that's the premise of the movie. You yes. know what I mean? It's... it's uh. We'll Bill, send it to Billy you guys. trying to find his, his uh, love interest um, because she just vanishes within thin air. Exactly. So <laughs> with the help of his uh, sister, mm -hmm. uh, Julie's sister, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they're trying to find out uh, what happened to Julie. Okay. Yeah. Right on. And, and what, um, Stanton, Stan, what drew you to the project? Honestly, um, I just like to create stuff. I just like okay. to make stuff. Uh, so whenever I get the opportunity to make something uh, with the right partners on board, um, I'm always down. And especially since it's action, I have an itch for action. I like action. I like making action movies. I like filming action scenes, fight scenes, something brutal. Um, I had a really good friend, uh, Adrian Prasad, who uh, I worked on the action with. Uh, we worked together on Supergirl. And we have a very good chemistry when we work together, so I wanted to work with him on it. And uh, just on top of that, I really, I, the story really drew me into it. I liked how uh, it was going to be a kind of like a thriller where Billy, our main character, is searching for his girlfriend, searching for clues throughout the club. Um, and on top of that, I like, I, I also wanted to challenge myself because uh, Hugo and Alex wanted to add some fire stuff in the bar. Sick. And there's going to be a lot of background, a lot of performers in it, so that will be my first time. So. <laughs> Our Creative. Time, it will be our first time, and creatively, it will be a challenge for me. So I wanted to take that challenge and kind of uh, go beyond what we're used to doing all the time. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Yeah, challenge see. ourselves and putting some magic tricks in there, bar bartender tricks. So it was just a, it was the first for everybody here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, it is, but isn't that it, like it's funny how when you when you finally get to those stages and you actually make them and they happen. How your brain goes, oh, the next one is going to be crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You start to pile on your arsenal, right? Like you, you have it as part of your catalog now, right? Once you're able to achieve it, then you can say, okay, the next one is coming along, right? Just, I think, I think originally, um, you know, we, we didn't pay as much attention to, to um, you know, giving, giving that production value that we really wanted to visually, right? right. And eventually, uh, we started saying, you know, why don't we test this out, test this out, let's take a look at the safety aspect, you know, and we got the creative aspect is always great, great. you know, yeah, you yeah, the director yeah. always saying, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to do, and it's obviously, like, our job is to be great. like, no, I mean, no, this, 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 this can't happen, <laughs> but this Unless, can happen, yeah. right, so, I mean, you know, we work it out, we work it out, that's that's uh, that's a dynamic, right, to make sure that, that we're able to do something, um, I guess, Within the finance, within the financial region that we have, and then also be able to, you know, push what we were initially trying to do with some creativity, and you know, give you guys the best product we can create. But you know what's dope with what you guys have is like you guys could actually use that to shop a full length, the f a full length uh, feature film. Feature film, like you know, play Netflix, Crave. Yeah. It's in yeah. the work right now. It's like when I wrote the. Uh, King of Hearts, I was already having, that was a prequel to me for the main event, which is the feature film. I'm still rewriting it and all that stuff, but I just want to make sure that the King of Hearts is really good. 
then we can start like on our next project. The pressure's on. The pressure's on, yes. It is. So you're trying to be a perfectionist now. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh that see that was the prequel. King of Hearts was the pre prequel <laughs> to what I got in store. Y'all ain't even ready. Yeah. You know, which is great though, because I think especially nowadays, um, everything's so visual, people's attention spans are aren't gonna no one's watching your hour that you shot and here's the first episode. Um, and then also they always want their own say and to be a part of it. So I think what, what you guys got here is, is especially if you see, from what I'm hearing, the action, the thriller, the thrill of it and everything else, you got something that you could actually shop to actually expand it into something bigger. So congratulations, because there's a lot of people in this city, and I've said it a million times, they talk about it, but they don't they don't be about it. Thank yeah, you. no, it's true. It takes it takes money, it takes a lot of effort, time, um, you know. A lot of sleepless nights. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of preparation, man. Yes, it's true. You know, it's... Uh, and, and and people don't necessarily see that, right? People like people just you know even on the day people show up and they're like okay let's let's shoot what we shot. But we've been prepping, you know, we've been prepping for a month, two months, you know, like we've been trying to put it together yeah. to make sure that it's uh, that it's organized enough to to carry out you know safely at, at the very least, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then take it from there, right? Mm -hmm. We have we have a lot of great great actors and stunt oh talents. We have such talent in Canada, man. It's it's almost um, frustrating that uh, we don't really get to showcase as much as we can through our Canadian, you know, channels, right? Like, I, I don't, I don't feel that that we really have to leave this country in order to, you know, or 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 do a lot of other different types of production. We, we could make our own here. It just needs I agree. Just a, little, a little effort, you know. I agree, bro. I agree, one hundred percent. And I'm one of those people that wants to do it too. <laughs> oh no, yeah, man. No, you know? I, I hear you. I hear you. Like this, I mean, I, you know what? The, the funny thing is, is that I always say, you know, the East Coast. You go to the East Coast, they want to do it yesterday. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, they're doing but, it with the music, though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. They're doing it with music, big time. Yeah. I figure, you know, and then out here where we got, we've got all, like you said, talent. Yeah. We have the means to make almost any place look like any city. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got the landscape for it. You know yeah, what I mean? To, yeah. to do what true. we need to do. Architectural diversity. Yeah, it, it's, exactly. It's and I feel like we almost, it's almost like, I don't know if people smoke too much weed, but they want to, you know, they have a meeting will be set for Monday and then it gets pushed to Thursday and they say, can we do it on Monday? Yeah. It's like a Vancouver <laughs> yeah. staple. It is. It is. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it, I it swear is. to God, it's like a Vancouver staple. It's like, you didn't know we were supposed to meet twice already? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. You it's know, true. so I get to a point where I'm at, like you know, and, and everybody's guilty of it. Sometimes things just happen, but by the third push, like, yo, bro, I am done. Like, cause to me, I see it as this is just the way it's gonna be, and yeah, I can't yeah, always, yeah, I can't, and I can't shake shit like that. That's mm -hmm. just me. I can't. I have a real hard time shaking it. You're well, awesome. you're trying to make things happen, right? Like, you can't just wait on other people always, right? Yeah, but I mean, you, you know, it's funny because so, I mean, sometimes you just have to. Some people's schedules are, you know, if they're on set, if it's a good enough excuse, right, right, cool. But I don't want to hear about nothing about oh, we going to my homie's boat in Stanley Park, and then and, and I want to hear none of that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sick. But tell me to meet you at the boat. On a barbecue, right? Tell no, me, man, yeah. You see the sick. Instagram, yeah. and you're like, bro, <laughs> like, bro. I thought, I thought you was at, yeah. I thought you was at Lions yeah, Gate Hospital, yeah. <laughs> like, bro. On, like, on a Tinder date. Yeah, and like, you know what I mean. Yeah. That actually happened to me once. I got canceled, and the dude said his mom was sick, and I saw him in the Cactus Club with, with, with like having dinner. Oh, oh. Yeah. we don't talk anymore though. Okay. I, I would have, I would have, I would have said, "Hey, yo, you." No, I didn't. I just said, okay? I, I paid the, I paid their bill. I was oh, off. Uh, yeah, okay, well, yeah, I just that's, paid that's their classic, bill, and they're yeah. like, then when they found out who paid, like who, who paid our bill? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, that guy over so there. That, and he's that, like, oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I said, hey, man, no, this is good to see you. I don't want to embarrass him in front of the girl, but <laughs> yeah, I never returned yeah, any of his calls. I mean, now when I see him, it's very just. I make sure it's really uncomfortable for him. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good, man. That's good. So, yeah, whatever. But I'm glad. I'm happy that you guys are doing it. You know, like it's what it's one of those things. Like, I, like people who come who come on the show, I like to say, "Yo, congratulations!" Because a lot of a lot of folks, like I said, they talk about it, they want to be about it, they want the props for it, but they don't want to put in the work, mm -hmm. the work, the money that they did. They just don't want to. Yeah, they want to take that risk. Uh, yeah. You know, you know what though? You know what's one thing I really appreciate about you, man? Here's the thing: you're always you always got your eye, you know, open to to, to the culture, man, and and I, and I appreciate that because oh, thanks, man. because honestly, you know what? Like, I didn't even tell you guys this, but I mean, so so last year, you know. We obviously came in and we, 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 we did this. This year, you know, he hit me up on Instagram. Just boom, like, 
you know, always, always supporting, man. And that's and that's that's the kind of stuff that like, you know, I felt like it really has to be celebrated. Oh, and I'm a fucking hater. No, man. I, I appreciate <laughs> I'm a fucking that. hater, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Straight no, up. It was like, great. It was great that that that, that, that happens, man. Because uh, honestly, because it looked good. Well, you guys were putting out when I saw. I was like, oh shit. And then you know what I mean. I'm like, oh wow, they're actually doing it. Like they talked about it, but now they're doing it. Like so for me, it, it's it's. It's one of those things where you have to pick, pick and choose who you actually spend your time with and to build with as you move forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I look at it from this point. I might not be able to do something, but yo, let me call Hugo and Stanton and let me call Alex. Yo, y'all know anybody that wants, hey, my homie's looking for a blah, blah, blah. Y'all might want to get in on this. Nah, these motherfuckers got paper. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. But, you know, so... I mean, if you know those guys, send them our way, man, because, you know, you know, we're always looking for those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there are. There are. I mean, but the, there are those guys yeah, that yeah, do yeah, exist, yeah. but it's like, it's one another thing where it's like, your budget's got to look like a real budget. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always tell people, I'm like, yo, man, if you can put together a $5 million budget, please put together a $9 million budget. Yeah. And then you got the other part. So it's a $10 million film because everybody forgets once the film's done, how the fuck are we going to market, market it? Yeah. How are we going to market it? Market it, you got to put it together, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and nowadays because, uh, you know, the internet and the way it is, I mean, you got to still put 68% of your budget just on the internet. Yeah, true. yeah. But and you can pick and choose your markets where you want to, but you still got to put that money there. So yeah. where, and then the rest of it goes where, like the radio or like you know print. Like so, you're still at a point where if you don't have money for that, your film's the film that doesn't get into the film festival because you didn't have the money. Yeah. Your film, get, does, you know what I mean? To to even just to fly people out mm, exactly. and get it and, and get get the awareness. You know, to say, hey, okay, well, we got our leads, we got a little buzz. Let's fly them to New York because we can get yeah. them on this radio show, or we can pay for a publicist. To, but nobody nobody thinks about putting that money aside. Yeah, no, it's and it's it's tough. You know, we we thought about a few times. You know, making non-union productions. We're like, no, man, let's if, if we're doing this legit. Let's do it with the jet. Right yeah. You know, the you can do micro budgets. You can do all yeah. that, but yeah. as long as the union's involved, you pay your insurance. Yeah. You make sure WCB stuff is paid for. You're good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We just you know? gotta keep it. We just gotta keep it legit. Yeah. Bro, you don't mind if I give a little quick, quick shout out to? Hell people? no. Go yeah, ahead, bro. Gotta, but we got we got like we got five minutes left. So go ahead. All right, man. I'll get. I'll be real quick, right? So first, first and foremost, Laurel Chantran del Valle. Okay. He's, he's you can tell he's Spanish. On, you can you tell he's I mean? Spanish. He's like Spanish Yo, and black jean. I want to give a shout out. Man, he's he's <laughs> number one guy, man. He's amazing. <laughs> Melissa Stubbs, M1 Fight Design. You know, you I know, know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And then uh, Marco Morales out in the U.S. Singer and Derrick King. All Wicked. right, Yo, that's it. Big up. And 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 one more thing. Mm. Shout out to all our cast and all our crew. Yes, they were so freaking much. amazing, man. And we we had a lot. We had a lot of help from people. And uh, man, it was it was incredible. Shout out to Adrian too, man, because wow, like, yeah, the action scene, everything, it's just great, man. Yeah. You couldn't do it without them. That's dope. That's dope. You know what I mean? And the fact that you showed love and <laughs> put it out there. Nah, you know what I mean? Some people forget. It becomes an ego thing, right? Mm -hmm. You forget, and sometimes you're just kind of going and you're like, ah, oh, I still forgot to. Ah, oh. mm -hmm. you know? no, 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 it's, it's a team. Effort. It's all a yeah. team, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I why you always gotta treat people the way you want to be treated, and remember that you can't, you can't do it by yourself. Yeah, you know, can't do it by yourself. Everybody, everybody says, "Oh, my team," but half the time when you hear me in interviews, you don't hear nothing about their team. Mm -hmm. You might hear we, but you don't hear nobody else's name. So that's good. Congratulations, yo, man! I'd say big up for doing that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, good peoples, man. I'm, I'm happy y'all came through, man. I missed you guys the last time. I, where the I fuck know, was man. I in Italy or some shit? I don't know. I think you were traveling though. You were traveling. Italy. Yeah, I think I was in Italy. You were traveling. Was was wedding. Wedding. Yeah, it was, yeah, and yeah. And that's, yeah. But but I'm glad you know we got the homie this time. So mm -hmm. that's 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 what I really want. No, I'm anytime, man. Anytime you guys are doing anything, like I always tell people, like people will hit me up and be like, "Hey, I didn't want to bother you." I'm like, "It's a fucking radio show. You should bother me." <laughs> but we need we need yeah, stuff sure, to talk man. about too. <laughs> for sure. Like, man. what are you doing? What do you mean you didn't want to bother me? Like, <laughs> for sure, man. Bother me. You know, yeah. but that's the thing. I mean, I think that you know, we we have a lot, and it's been so long that there's been a lack of uh, a platform for people to to want to hustle and be like, "Yo, bro, we, just anybody. I just I just need you to let anybody know what we're doing." And we have this thing where it's like, "Oh, I don't want to bother." Them. Mm -hmm. I'll bother the shit out of anybody. I don't care. No, man. Listen, you're doing big things with this, man. You know what? Keeping this consistent, like that's that's what makes it big. You this know? is our 78th show. Yeah. Nene, is this 78th show? Yeah. Yeah, this is the that's, 78 show, nice. consistent. Not one like where we had to like where we've actually yeah, 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 played yeah. an old that's episode. Oh, no, really? Not one. Every 78 show. What are you gonna do for the hundred, man? 
The hundred show, show, man. Like you gotta do something the special. The hundred show, right? show we're throwing a party. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. We're throwing a party. Yeah, we're gonna have everybody who's gonna guest is coming. Yeah, yeah. like to be invited, and then um, and I think I'm gonna kind of make it almost as like a fundraiser. I don't like to charge your guests, but I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. some happy meal money, ten bucks, just throw it yeah, in the yeah, thing, yeah, raise some sure, money, man. Hey. and uh, try to get a lot of the uh, performers, like the people who are musicians, who are on the show, just to perform. Okay. You know, cool, come out, do a couple yeah. songs, and just kind of keep the night moving. Just with a good vibe. Man, man, I'll yeah, donate. Yeah, yeah. I'll donate for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got some, me down there. Like, so I'm bucks. glad, man. I'm you know happy. what I mean? Five bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks. I think ten bucks is dope because it kind of has the number almost of a hundred, but it's like you know what I mean? There's a zero in there. Yeah, just we're missing the zero. I'm gonna donate a hundred bucks. You hear it right now. You can keep that on oh, word. Record. Okay. You can get that on record. Okay. For real man, I I I support this man. I support this. You guys are doing some some big things. Thank and, you, man. And, We're trying. And, and it's that consistency that is sometimes tough to to maintain. Oh yeah, people, I miss I miss I out. sacrifice. People lot. fade out, man. And people fade out because you like you said, people have to sacrifice a lot more than they think they have to, mm-hmm. right? So, mm-hmm. no nah, man. Congrats on that. Big ups to you. Thanks, man. But yeah, but it's still a good support system that I have in a sense of, you know, friend, family, mm-hmm. you know, mostly family, like, you know, because to put up with this, you know, kids got, you know, if there's soccer games, I got to miss. You know what I mean? There's so, like, there's just, a, you know, certain times where, you know, if it's fly where I'll come later where it works out. And, um, but there is, a, but there's, there's something to be said about even just your kids watching you do what you're doing because then they, they see it. And um, I have one of my, my sons on here, and he came on. He talked sports, and people were like, "That's that's that's your son? Like, is that like a man talking about sports? Like, you know what I mean?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it's dope because at the end of the day, I, it's almost like I, when they don't see what you're doing, you know what I mean? You're yeah, just yeah. absent. That's yeah. true. That's the social media age. Yeah. yeah, it's like if you're not online, you're not playing. Like, nobody yeah. can see what they are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. Well, congratulations, man, on what you guys are doing, and keep keep it up. And um, anytime Thanks, you know the doors open, like I always say, now you guys got keys to the building, so feel feel free to hit us up and let us know what's going on, and always come back for sure. But we'll, anytime, we'll, well, once, once we got this going, man, we'll send you the link to it. You can check it Hell out. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. yeah. Just what like make it so it's in one of those kind of like um, WhatsApp things. So when I when it comes, I can save it. It goes to my phone. And then I, I, can, I don't even watch it on your phone. Because people are like, oh, you can record the screen. Record. I'm like, I don't know all that. I don't know. I ain't got time to go to YouTube to find out. Like, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. playing. Yeah. I'm not gonna spend that money streaming. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you. Cool. So, <laughs> thank you so much, Alec Duong. Thank you. Did I say that right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, yes, St- <laughs> Stanton Chung. And Hugo Raimondo. Raimondo! Raimondo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, Yo, anytime, guys, like I said, anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we hope to see the um, the short. Yeah, the very soon. Will be soon, yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta find, I gotta find something dope to play first. Let me find something. Let me find something dope to play. Should I go back to some Rick Ross? We were talking about some Rick Ross. Should I go back to Rick Ross? Oh, you know, you know who I want to play? I want to go back. I want to play. I want to play Rhapsody. She's dope, man. Rhapsody. Rhapsody. You ever heard of Rhapsody? Rhapsody. 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 Not like you know, like um. Like R H, right? Like R H. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's dope, bro. Yeah. How the hell did I miss it? What's going on? Like, I'm trying to find this. Oh, this year. She's ill. I could just pick anything, and then I'd probably just be fired. I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm gonna just pick a song called "Thank You Very Much" by Rhapsody, and then cool. I bet you I bet you it'll just be fire. I mean, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, man. thank you. Till next time. All right, brother. Peace. Thank you very much. See, it's out of nowhere. Thank you. The, the beat. The beat.